right, 749 and a uh, warmer week coming our way. We've been uh, used to seeing the cold temperatures across here the last week or so. We're going to finally get some warm temperature in here for the early week. That's going to bring some showers around. Strong cold front comes through on Wednesday. That's going to be our rainy, rainiest day of this week, but may also come with some severe storms, so we'll keep you alerted to that. And then that cold air slides right back in behind this here as we go on through the end of the week. Out the door this morning, the big temperature difference, 15 to 20 degrees warmer than yesterday. Yeah, it's still cold. It's just not brutally cold like we saw here. In fact, up most locations, with the exception of Bella, even all of us are above that freezing mark getting out the door for us this morning. Here's your Storm Track 12 forecast. How about these temperatures? Haven't seen these in a while at or above average for us here into the 60s as we go on through the day today. Sunny and warmer with those southwesterly winds. Temperatures drop down a little bit overnight tonight, then they may actually start to rise. We'll be into the mid 40s as we go through the evening hours as those clouds start to build in ahead of our next weather maker. Back into the 60s tomorrow, kind of a mixture of uh, more cloud cover, some sunshine peeking through here, and a couple rounds of light showers. Not going to be a good soaking rainfall for us as we head through tomorrow, but those southwesterly winds are going to keep the temperatures on the warm side. Here's the ingredients of our next weather maker. These will be the showers from Monday and Tuesday. And then this strong cold front comes slamming into that, and that's going to be in here by the time we hit Wednesday. Future track does show nothing but sunshine around for us today. You'll see those clouds build in as we head overnight tonight. Again, some light showers maybe there first thing tomorrow morning, then maybe another batch in the afternoon. But again, not going to be all that much rainfall for tomorrow or Tuesday. It's Wednesday that that strong cold front really starts to work its way into the area, and that's when we could have some of that soaking rainfall more than an inch or so with that cold air returning for next weekend.